Hi, it's Nathan Laney here from Urban Boxing Studios. Today we're going to work you through a basic footwork pattern which is going to enable you to step into range, change angles and step out of range to a safe place where you can't get hit very easily. You'll notice we have three different coloured dots on the floor like a traffic light um, setup. So we have red being danger, don't go, or we're in our fighting zone, we're working close with bent arm techniques. Amber, the zone where we can hit and get hit back. And then the green area where we are safe and we are calm, where we can't get hit. Now we're gonna use these dots on the floor to help us get a mental picture for where we are in terms of our distance and how we can use these dots to then get into range and out of range to escape. For our very first drill, we're gonna make this really, really simple. All we're going to do is step in and step out of range. So, we're going to have our lead foot on the green dot. For the purposes of the drill I'm gonna do in all the docks, obviously flip it on its head if you are in Southport. So from here, I'm gonna step jab with my left foot going forwards onto the amber. I then what I'm gonna do is step back out and jab Lead foot onto the green. Okay, step forward with a jab, step back with a jab onto the green dot. Okay, so we use that footwork to go to so step into range and step back out of range using a step jab. Now we're going to change angles and we're going to go from the amber range into the red zone where we're going to attack, we're going to be fighting in close with bent arm techniques. So we're going to step on our jab. I'm going to step my rear foot forward onto the red and make a slight adjustment with my left foot onto the green. It's important that I make that slight adjustment. That adjustment is going to be named into escape later on in the video. Okay? Now from this position, if I want to change angles again, I'll step forward onto the red and my rear foot back round onto the green. Okay? One more time. We're going to step on the jab. Rear foot forward, little adjustment onto the green, change angles, rear foot forward, and adjustment onto the green. Now we're going to explain why it was so important to adjust our feet, um, um, adjusting our back foot onto the green dot. That green dot is going to be our escape. We mentioned um, the, the green dot is safety. Um, we always say the measure of distance is in our back foot because from your back foot, that's, that's gonna in dictate how far back out of range you're able to go. Okay, so from here, we're going to take it one stage for, further forward. You're going to step jab, bring your rear foot forward, adjustment onto the green. Now, we wanna get back out of range to a safe place, and we're gonna pivot back out. Now, we're back in the safe zone, and our opponent can't hit us, we're out of range. One more time, step jab, Rear foot forward, slight adjustment, pivot back out, and we're back into the, our safe zone. Working the other side. Step jab, left foot forward. From here, we're in close range, pivot back out into south ball, and we're back into safe, our safe distance. Using our footwork to get us into mid range, into close range, and then all the way back out into a safe zone. So now we've mastered the footwork, we're going to introduce our hands, but we're going to introduce rules to our footwork drill. So when you're on the red dots, you're allowed to use bent arm techniques, uppercuts and hooks. When you're on the amber dot, you're able to use straight techniques and bent arm techniques. When you're on the green dot, you are only able to use straight techniques. That's because mainly the, these techniques that we are using, uh, uh, the range dictates whether we can use them or not. Or our opponent's range in relation to us um, dictates whether we can use them or not. So now the rules we're going to put in place will make it um, a little bit more realistic and introduce hands and feet working together. When you feel comfortable with the footwork pattern and you've drilled the footwork pattern, now it's time to take that onto the back. Uh, making sure that you have a focus on distance and your angle changes and giving yourself enough room to be able to pivot back out of range. Thinking about the techniques that you're using at 
any given range, making sure that you're selecting the right tool for the job. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Please give it a try at home and let us know what you think in the comments below. It really helps, we really appreciate your feedback. If there's anything that you'd like to see in any of our videos or you need help in anything, please let us know. We do read them and we will react to them as soon as we can. And please like, share, comment, subscribe, press that notifications bell and you'll be the first to see new videos as they go live. See you again soon.